I want to live here. Up and down the country, super-rich teens and 20-somethings are snapping up the hottest properties money can buy. This is where the mistress would be. You could hide your lover in here when your husband gets home. I have to be a property millionaire. I do like to read that. Unless you've got a trust fund or being bankrupt by mum and dad. Some people can work all their life to become a millionaire. I just adopted it. The average first-time buyer now reaches a whopping 38 years old. 38! Dad. As Britain's youth are in danger of becoming a generation who can't afford to buy their own homes. <laughs> this series follows some of the UK's most affluent young people. I don't actually care about this money I'm making. 80 bottles of Dom Perignon, a couple of bottles of Cristal. Standard weekend, really. I'll make 100 times as much in about 10 years' time. As they hunt for their perfect pads. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is a bit of me. Oh, I love oh, this. Oh, my this God. And there's a walk-in wardrobe. And go on a serious spending spree. That's definitely the sort of theme I want to be going for. £700 is a good bargain. It's going to be extortion. This one is 420000 799950 They're on the market for about two and a quarter million. There is no question. No doubt in my mind. I will become successful in property. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> In tonight's show, two glamorous best friends on the verge of moving into an exclusive £800,000 pad. So, next year we'll be in the penthouse. <laughs> a 23- and 24-year-old couple buy their very first home for nearly half a million, after only seeing it once. This is the moment I see it for the second time. Well, Power we've actually bought it. And an ambitious 21-year-old starts her property portfolio with nearly 500000 to play with. The whole street seems a bit, um, how can I put it? Like, a bit chavvy. <laughs> Meet best friends, 25-year-old Kim and 27-year-old Sally. Ew! Hi, I'm Sally. And I'm Kim. And together we're buying a house for about £800,000. Well, we had to put 20% of the value of the property down. We'll let you do the calculations yourself, because now you know how much the property is worth. 20% of £800,000 is a whopping 160 grand, And that's cash. Yeah, it brings out my whole, you know... Oh. In, like, the, the average deposit needed to buy in London is £30,000. These girls already have five times that. I love that. That is so cool. It's like exactly. Sally and Kim are on the verge of completing on a two-bed Riverside apartment in Battersea, South London, that comes complete with cocktail bar, spa and private helipad. The flat's gorgeous because it's just got the wow factor. It's just amazing. The fabulous new flat may soon be theirs, but it doesn't come for free. Hello, Sally. My phone doesn't ever stop ringing. I own a private aviation company and I work on a normal day about 10 to 12 hours and I work six days a week. Scoot your hair up for me. And Kim's not just a pretty face. She's a professional model working for clients including Nicole Fari, Ben Delisi and Harrods. And my job consists of uh, castings work whenever I get booked. See you soon. Modelling may be super glamorous, but it's not the most reliable career. I'm big on security, and I think, you know, putting my money into property, it's safe. And it would make sense in terms of if we want a bigger property. Well, that's what we say. It's like, you know, we can either buy somewhere that's great individually, or we can get somewhere super fantastic yes. together and lift with each other and have a yeah. blast. Uh... Oh, love you. Love you. <laughs> Meet 20 somethings Matt and Louise. Hi, we're Matt and Louise, and we've got 350,000 to spend. They're young and in love. We met at a party. She was dressed up as a, I'm going to say, belly dancer. Be polite. <laughs> she basically had a bra and knickers on. I just asked politely if he would like to be my boyfriend, and he laughed at me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, no, we work well. It's a good team. They're so in love, they've taken the huge leap of buying a flat together. Well, the house is 
After eight months of searching, Matt and Louise have finally exchanged on a two-bedroom flat in Trendy Camden, North London. I got my belly button pierced in there when I was 13. At a massive 345 grand, their very first property is worth double what the average first-time buyer will spend. It's quite an expensive place, but it's, it's just the sort of money you've got to pay, unfortunately, to live where we want to live. But it's not just the two of them they have to consider. They also have a six-month-old called Rufus. Rufus, come on, come on, come on, come on! We do love him a lot. He's just like a, my little baby. They love their pooch so much, they're tailoring their entire house hunt around him. That's one of the main reasons for us buying a place, somewhere that he can have his own garden. This is a place where we, all three of us can live and have our home together. They may be in touching distance of their new home, but they're taking a massive gamble. Who's only been, you've been in it once. Yeah. I've seen it once, so... Seen it once. No, but I've noticed the pictures online several times. Yeah. Um, maybe didn't think about it for as long as I should have. <laughs> no, yeah, all the, all the regrets coming out. <laughs> Meet Amelia. My name's Amelia and I'm 21 years old, currently looking to buy my first property. Amelia's father owns luxury hotels in London and is helping her with the deposit for her first place. So yeah, I'm going to be putting down 20 and my dad's going to be putting down 30 as a first house present. <laughs> So with Daddy's help, Amelia has £50,000 and a budget of nearly half a million. Hi, Papa. You OK? Are you coming in later today? I aim to be like my dad in the sense that he's been, he was very successful from a very young age. He owned loads of hotels. I just want to be successful and, yeah, money comes with success, I hope. <laughs> this is her property. It's her deal. Having said that, if she listened to it, that is advice, obviously, <laughs> she will be more successful. <laughs> but Amelia is a woman who knows her own mind. I'm somebody who's very ambitious. I don't want to be, you know, 25 and not having exactly what I wanted to do. Essential to her master plan is to buy properties she can then rent out. I'd like to buy an investment property because I think that it's a base for an income. It's something which I really wish to have now while I'm young. And this young lady has a clear vision of what she wants. I'm not looking for any ex-council local authority properties. Kitchen is very important to me. Small bedrooms are not appealing at all. But with such high standards, Amelia's house hunt might prove to be testing. I know what I do like and what I don't like, and I definitely want it to be perfect. I'm not going to compromise. In the UK, the average first-time buyer now has to save almost half their wage for five years to get on the property ladder. But at 21, Amelia already has a 50 grand deposit. You're looking to buy a property? Yes. Brilliant. Okay. So, with a budget of nearly half a million to play with, finding an investment property should be pretty easy. Yeah, I, firstly, I don't like basement because there's no. no reception for my phone. I don't want one in a building. No, you won't. I don't, I'm not too keen on the outside. Yeah. It looks very basic. It just looks very cheap. This one over here definitely doesn't look cheap. And no, that one doesn't good, look cheap. Good, good direction. And also, I mean, to be honest, there's no multi-million pound road, this. OK. Today, Amelia's house hunt starts with a two-bedroom flat in Clapham, South London, on the market for 425 grand. Obviously, then we've got built in the fridge and freezer over here as well. Ooh. It's all great, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. The bathroom? Yeah. What do you think of the bathroom? I like it, but to yeah. be honest, I'm just not motivated. I know this sounds weird, but I feel unmotivated mm. to see the rest, only because mm. I didn't like the front. I didn't like... I felt I feel like it's a bit like a council block. I mean, it's a Victorian building. So. I know it's a Victorian building, yeah. but the whole street seems a bit... Um, how can I put it? Like, a bit chavvy, kind of. OK. Like, it doesn't look up... It's not up market. It's all about compromise. You're, I know. You're, I'm really scary. fussy. I don't know. I'm not sure. In Amelia's search for a flawless flat, compromise isn't something she's willing to do. It has to be what I want. I'm not spending that much money on something and, you know, every month paying the mortgage off for something which I don't love. And I don't think I want to settle for anything less. <laughs>
entrepreneur Sally can work up to 60 hours a week. OK, so how many meetings are you organising for me for one day? Which is problematic when she's due to complete on her new 800 grand home. <laughs> yes, very stressful. It's just work, 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 Kim, trying to get everything in one, everything done, state agent, just... I don't know why they're taking so long, papers we need to sign and just, ah. Oh. Her flatmate professional model Kim is also on her way to work. She may be close to sharing an 800 grand apartment with Sally, but she still has to pay for it. Oh, catalogues can pay two grand a day. TV commercial can pay £100,000, you know? So, those are the ones we want. <laughs> Today's casting is for a top swimwear designer, whose bikinis are worn by celebrities including Kate Moss, J-Lo and Paris Hilton. I am looking for some swimwear models at the moment, but I choose a different a new girl every year. Um, no, I haven't worked with her before, but she looks great. That's great. Perfect. Oh, at the end of the day, you're, it gets you out of reality a bit because you earn so much money, but then your career is so short. The print on this is beautiful. Oh, thank Love you. It. That looks great. Yeah. I'm a firm believer in property. I bought my first apartment at 20s. That's where all my money went. I didn't want a car, I didn't want anything. It all went into my first property because that's where you make... Uh, if you can wait out the bad times, you'll always make money in property. So right you away. You lose your money. It's yeah. There. Secure. Exactly. And you know you won't spend it then. Exactly. You, know I mean? you won't blow it on your Labotin shoes and you won't blow it on clothes because you're tempted and vacations. Mm -hmm. That let the guys pick up that bill for you. <laughs> <laughs> I think the casting went well. The show, you know, the show's coming up soon. Um, I think it'll be a great show to do. And she, she actually spoke a lot about what I believe in, you know, and investing in property and that's where your, my security is, you know, with my job being uncertain is to gain security, which is my property and that's why I want to put my money in. So hearing her say that, I totally agree with her. Matt and Louise may have exchanged on their two-bedroom love nest. Oh, look at that table! But with less than a week till they get the keys and move in, they still have to feather it. We can have that in the... Too big? OK. It's going really well. We're really looking forward to it now. It's getting nearer to the time when it might actually happen. So I'm getting excited about it now. I realise we haven't got anything to go inside it, though. That's the trouble. <laughs> we'll be weak to go. Joining them at a vintage reclamation yard is Matt's mum, Sarah. What about that? <laughs> no. Look at this. Oh, that is so beautiful. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> oh, look, Matt, should we get numbers? What number is our house? I don't know. The difficulty is, we've only seen it a few, you've only seen it once. Mm -hmm. So it's difficult to sort of know what, even painting a room, like, we've still got to paint the room. A place can look completely different after you've painted a room and put a, you know, a different light in, can't it? So. I mean, you're just getting ideas now. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Buying furniture for a house Lou's only ever seen once is proving tricky. I haven't actually seen the flat. Um, what sort of size is it? Well, I'm not really sure. So, I think each room's about 13, 14 by 12. Yeah. Yeah. 13 by 12? Yeah. It's not big. Slightly bigger than this table. <laughs> I don't think it's 13 by 12, darling. I don't have it. <laughs> a bit harsh. No, I'm sure it'd be lovely. 13 yeah. by 12. <laughs> <laughs> no. 21-year-old Amelia's hunt for an investment property is moving fast. In the space of a week, she's miraculously found somewhere that matches her high standards. A two-bed in Battersea, South London. She likes so much that she's already put an offer of 445 grand on it. They declined it, unfortunately. Um, I did put an offer of 15 less, but um, it's also a leasehold, which I definitely didn't want before. The vendor is actually the owner of the freehold, so I can possibly ask him if he could either extend the lease or make it a share of a freehold, which I'd be much happier to purchase and then I'd be willing to raise my offer. Having finally found somewhere up to her standards, she's not about to let it slip through her fingers.
Okay, so I'm willing to up my offer by seven thousand. So okay, to... so you were at four four five. Yeah. Um, so seven thousand is four five two. Yeah. And also, I'd like that to come with a longer lease. I really am not happy with one hundred and twenty three years. I'd really like a lot longer than that. Normally, people sell their freeholds, and they're quite valuable. Mm. So. I doubt he'll be open to doing that, but I'll have a go. Having made her new offer, the estate agent has promised to contact the vendor and call Amelia with the response. Ooh, <laughs> surprise. <laughs> Hello? Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah, OK. OK, thank you so much, bye. Oh. He declined my offer again. It is annoying though. Oh, I'm so depressed. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it'll be fine. It'll get sorted. If this doesn't happen, it's not meant to be. I'll find something else. How far are you? Are you going to be here in a sec? Sally and Kim are due to move into their new luxury apartment in less than a week. All right, bye. But busy work diaries mean they're running out of time to furnish their new home. It's time to squeeze in a shopping trip. Here she is. I will just give you the, my credit card details. <laughs> what? Yay! No. Christmas! How was your casting go today? Yeah, fine. My little munchkin! Same. You gotta pay the mortgage! Chop, chop! You gotta pay the bills. Girl. Okay, so what have you found? Girl. No, I love the chair. I think it's so I cool. knew it. It's so Austin Powers of you. I could actually sleep in this. <laughs> See? I was thinking this could be the sofa and your bed. I'm very excited, you know. This yeah, is all really happening. I love these. They're so colourful. Nice. That's so you see, nice. I love that. I love that. That's really lovely. I and really it's so love that. fresh. No? I really like this. It's very cool. But this, is, yeah, this can also be a really it's good bedroom. It's only three grand. Three grand. Which I think for a sofa is actually quite reasonable. OK, yeah, it's not Ikea, £90, but... But we don't want Ikea, £90. That's what we're saying. Come, come. Chop, chop. I don't have time. I've got to go back to work. Disappointed after losing her dream flat, Hi, Amelia has thrown herself back into the search for an investment property. First up is this two bed in Battersea, South London. Well, do you want to start yeah, through I'll here? Start with the bedroom, yeah. The bedroom. Okay. So they have plenty of built in storage. Yeah. It's quite often they don't have in these flats. I'm sure you've seen plenty. Mm. It has a really funny smell in this house. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah. So how much extension. is this going for? It's on the market for three nine 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 fifty. Okay. Yeah. And this is the living room. They've converted this up, they then. Yeah. In winter, it's going to be freezing in here. Well, they've put underfloor heating in here as oh, well. Have they as well. Yeah. So it should be it should be okay. It's nice. I do like it. Um, I can't really imagine myself living here only because it's just too too much light coming in. OK, that's fine. Do you want to have a look at the garden, or are you, have you seen enough? I've seen enough, definitely. OK, <laughs> perfect. I'll um, lock that up. After eight months of searching for a new home, the wait for Matt and Louise is almost over. <laughs> Today we are completing. We're about to go and pick up the keys. And uh, moving in. This right. is the moment I see it for the second time, when oh, we've actually yeah, bought yeah. it. Just go and get the keys, then. At just 23 and 24, this young couple have bought their very first home in one of the most expensive boroughs in London. Hello, nice to meet you. I'm Louise. Oh. I'm the other half. Hiya. Great. You want another you go. Thank you. Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> Thanks very much. These are our house keys. Go Again, go in. On the other side of town, spirits are also high. So excited! I feel like it's like our, you know, second stage of our lives, like starting. And it's and it was funny. It was really funny last week. We were talking about we're like, babes, next year we'll be in the penthouse. <laughs> we're like working our way to the top. <laughs> yeah. Here we are. Oh no! Oh yeah, it is this 
It's the moment of truth for first-time buyer Lou. Got that blue gate there is my your front door. I think it's that one. I think it opens that one. She and boyfriend Matt bought their 345 grand basement flat after just one viewing. But that was two months ago, and Lou hasn't seen it since. Yep, this is it. It's my house. So that's my bedroom window. There. And it looks like there's blinds, which is good, because I didn't think of that. <laughs> right, you ready? That's the right one. It is, I think. Look, there we go. Nice wall. Oh, my God, this is our house. Wow. So this is home, honey. I love it. Yeah, I really like it. Good. Oh, Matt, we've got a mat for a shower curtain. I've always wanted one of these. Oh, I really like it. BP. Do you like it? Oh, it's fantastic, yeah. This is part of the reason we moved in here. Uh, so Rufus can have his little garden. So this is, um garden. It's lovely. Woo! <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to a new house. house. Woo! Amelia is still putting estate agents through their paces on the streets of London. She knows exactly what she wants to buy and isn't willing to compromise. Hi, there. Amelia. Hi, Amelia. I'm good. Hi, She's invited a friend, Sadie, to help you a two-bed in Fulham, design. South London, where the average price of a house is a cool one million. I'm not too quick, keen on the sofas. They're a bit tacky. But when you come in, the only thing which I really didn't like, which I want to say um, if we look at any other properties, you know, as you enter, I don't like when it looks like a flat as if you go up the stairs. I like it to have its own door. I don't like having to, you know, mingle with people who I don't yeah. really care about. Um, so, yeah, it needs a bit of work. It obviously needs new everything, really. Okay, yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah, I'm on your left, the, uh, the master bedroom. Oh, yeah, this is quite a good size. Oh, she's got the same Uggs as me. So these are the original uh, wooden floors that they've had uh, painted white, which I think is rather nice. So, yeah. Nice look. Yeah, it is. To be honest, I, didn't, I don't really like this room as much as the other room. Really, really don't like that. No. That looks really tacky. But, no, this room needs work, definitely. Oh, look, they even have fake gruff. It's lovely. Wow. For summer, for sunbathing, imagine the tan up here. Woo! Uh, this is lovely. Oh, my God, the seats are soaking. <laughs> How good is this space, though? Uh, yeah, it's lovely. It's really nice. Could it be that picky Amelia's just found her first investment? I'm not in love with it. No. It's the fact that it's much more appealing if it's one person's on one level, one person's on the other level, then there's the kitchen downstairs. That's just nice. Totally yeah. agree. So, couldn't make much money off it. I think it's a no. As Amelia continues her search for perfection, Sally and Kim have found theirs. Today, they get the keys to their luxurious £800,000 apartment in Battersea, South London. I'm, I'm Sally. Um, the station general is supposed to drop off some key for us. Perfect. Thank you so much. Babe. Hey! Oh my god! Welcome! Hi, I'm Sweetheart. Welcome to our humble abode. Look at this view. How amazing is this? Can you can it get any better than this? Look at my bedroom. Awesome. <laughs> it cannot get any better than this. Oh, so peaceful. I'm almost speechless. I don't know what to say. It's kind of it's crazy that it's finally here. And... Well, here we go. My Finally, this we've done it. A whole new adventure, just me and you Cheers. together. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> a very good year and summer. After four months of searching, and despite having a budget of nearly half a million to play with, Amelia still hasn't found the perfect investment property. I thought it was going to be a lot easier than it was. I thought, OK, there's loads of amazing properties out there. I'm bound to find one which I love. So um, I need to really find something I absolutely adore. And I am a perfectionist. And when I want something, I really, really focus until I get it. So I think that... 
this property will take its time until I find something perfect, but I will find something perfect in the end, and then hopefully it'll be a success. Across London, for two young people, the search is over. It is for young to be buying a house together. It's just something that we're both ready to do, something that we both want to do. This sort of commitment, it's our sort of future. Both care about each other a lot and both happy to be living with each other now. So it's all that really needs to be said. It's just it'll be our place for the two of us. You know, have a place that we can call our home together and we can decorate it together. It'll be our place together. It'll just be nice, I think. We're really looking forward to it. While most people in their early 20s can dream of buying a new home, this lucky couple have. I sort of feel for people who are trying to do this on their own at the moment because it's... You know, nobody makes it... Nobody's making it easy for people, so... No. I feel really, really fortunate, really lucky to be able to buy a place because it's, it's really exciting.